Before hooks were introduced in React, there were two main reasons to use a class component instead of a function component. The first one, which we've already been covering so far, is to use state. Anytime you need to include and update state in a component, again, before hooks were introduced, you needed to use a class component. The other major reason was to be able to hook into different lifecycle methods of a component. So what exactly are lifecycle methods? Well, it's helpful to know that any given component throughout its, I guess you could call it a lifetime, goes through different phases. There is a mounting phase, an updating phase, and an unmounting phase. Now, I've seen different versions of this diagram. It's been updated as the different lifecycle methods have updated. You're welcome to click on the screenshot here, which will take you to a blog which explains all of the phases and lifecycle methods really in depth. But I'm going to try and just talk about the lifecycle methods that we are currently most concerned about. Now, if we think of a component in terms of a lifetime or a life cycle, like a human life, these three phases can be essentially broken down into an initial phase, which like we saw is called mounting. It's when it first mounts to the screen. It's kind of like when a person is born. Then after the mounting phase comes an updating phase. And truthfully, the updating phase can happen multiple times depending on how long the component is on the screen. This phase will happen anytime props or state is changed and React has to update the component to reflect that change. And then sadly, and maybe a bit morbidly, all good things come to an end, and when a component needs to be removed from the screen, it's called an unmounting phase. And since we're comparing this to a life, that would be kind of like the death of the component. With lifecycle methods in class components, we can hook into different aspects of each of these phases and run code when necessary. As I mentioned, we won't be going in depth onto every lifecycle method, so let's see the ones that we will be talking about. In the mounting phase, we have the render method and a method called component did mount. Now, you should already be familiar with the render method, but we'll get a chance to look at component did mount. In the updating phase, the primary lifecycle methods that we are concerned about is, again, render. Render gets called in both the mounting and the updating phase. But then there's another one called component did update, and we'll get a chance to see what that's all about. And in the unmounting phase, there's a lifecycle method called component will unmount. So, like I said, the render method should be familiar to you. The render method is used to kind of paint elements to the screen. It gets called whenever the component first mounts, and also every time props or state change. So now, over the next few lessons, we will learn about the component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount lifecycle methods.